Hey guys, all my friends, hello world. I welcome you back again to this new video to show with OSP Pro. Now, on this video again today, I'm going to just take into a some small step kind of introduction stuff on how you can start hacking, you know, for beginners. But again, here I'm going to be basing on Windows. I think you can just see my machine is a window machine. So it is a window machine, it's a window PC. So we just going to find ourselves getting started and seeing how we can you know come up with some free stuff uh, around here you can see i'm connected to internet called osp so if you check on my internet connection i'm using osp so we're just going to see how can we try to penetrate through internet that i've ever connected to and i don't know the password maybe the user is one who gave me the password and i don't know something like that now this one's going to be for complete beginners now i'm going to be using batch programming all along i've been telling you guys please register for batch programming please register for batch now i know you guys I, I don't blame you because you may find that you guys you have never maybe happened to get chance to to be exposed to batch programming but uh, by the way batch is very very good if at all you're still using windows and if you're going for linux administration then mean for, for sorry not for linux administration but if you go switch to linux or debian kind of a operating system it's also something very very important but if you know you're still in windows and know maybe you're still based on windows then i advise you please make sure before you leave windows you already know how to use batch now this video is not going to be long, it's just going to be a very short video. It's going to be for complete beginners by the members. If at all, maybe if you already have knowledge on it, please don't uh, no, don't comment in the wrong way. Don't comment in a, in a way that maybe you're criticizing. I just request it because this video is for people who don't know, who are willing to learn. So if you know you're already good, you already know what to do, please, that's good, good to go. So you can maybe just comment down and tell me what next you can do. But otherwise, if you know you already don't know, please, this video is going to be good for you. So let's see how we can, how we can get started. So the first thing is that make sure you have windows i uh, mean sorry i hope you have your operating system in your machine and make sure uh always by default when you happen to use your machine batch is already there enabled so the first thing that you're going to do at the moment uh is to see how you can open up batch so in the simple number run batch is cmd command prompt so i'm just going to go to my command prompt on my computer and then I search for command prompt now mine is kind of black and mean kind of gray blue color Green, no, red in color is just because I changed my color to pop four, which is dust very color. So you can change yours any color or whatever thing you try to do, or maybe to if sort of sort H is not allowed. So if uh, if I say color, maybe maybe you want that. So you get some funny color like that. Now uh, I'm not uh, interested in any of those colors because I'm always I always actually like my color because uh. I like it, it's called good. Uh, that's also great, you can use this for this video. So let's just try to see how we can go on to it and then we we'll make the difference. Now the point main is that what we're going to do at the moment, we're going to learn on to how to hack into small computers, into small Wi-Fi, into small machines, yeah, whatever machine that I've ever connected to. So we're going to see how we can penetrate all through and then we can learn how to hack them. Now, uh, by the way, this video is just for study purpose. Please don't use that advantage to start hacking to people's computers. So I'm just sorry for that, but actually, it's for learning. Now, on the other way around, let me just try to show something simple. Uh, we need to know all computers that have ever connected to the machine. So to do that, always by default, in your machine, we just type the word in net. It's going to display for all the possible stuffs. And if you try to say net, net means network connection, kind of things like that. Which is going to display for all the kind of configuration, blah, 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 stuff like that. You get uh, if you just type in maybe net share something like that it will also display for you some kind of you no know, uh, responsive blah 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 which you may not understand at the moment but though since you're a beginner I don't want to take into all those at the moment but otherwise if you want budget programming and would like it to take another level then you come to OSP addictor solution we just located in one decade diamond trust bank building second floor or you comment down below this video as long as we're within uganda or whatever which part of the world where you are and you're interested and you can move you can come to uganda then maybe do the program with us because our online school is not yet on that's a fact but very soon we are going to start it so let's get started so the first thing that we're going to do to access any internet that auto when wireless that uh, maybe at the point i've ever connected to you just do the following you say net show then you say one uh show profiles pro files like that so when i click enter let me just try to maximize maximize my screen so these are all the internet i've ever connected to at the moment i'm connected to osp i've ever connected with this one i've ever connected with this one i've ever connected to all of this we internet that i have here right now 
all this internet I've ever connected to them. So I'm going to access this one if possible and maybe sorry. No, I can't not test with OSP. Let me just take another one. Let me just pick another one around, pick another one, pick another one here. Look for another internet here. Let me look for another internet. Let me look for Greenet. I think Greenet can work better. So I'm just going to say maybe uh, to access that wireless, I'm just going to do the following. I'm going to say net. Uh, let show uh, one. Show profile. Then under show profile. So we want to display that profile and see all the network or uh, the, the, the password and whatever if at all they had one. So I'll simply say print it, show profile, then I'll simply say mm, uh, just give the name. So you say name equals open up the bracket and then you copy this very name. So that don't make a uh, problem in your spelling, not so. So I'm going to hold Ctrl C to copy that and I'm going to Ctrl V to paste it there. So then I'm going to just type one on as key equals to clear. Key equals to clear means in simple term I don't want any pass. If there's any password, please show it to me. And whatever thing is there, please show me all the stuff to me so now hit enter and the success loud i think you can see that now uh this is it we are good to go so this green this is the connection the network connection are connected connected only if this network is broadcasting do not switch to another user blah 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 so we're looking onto the password where is it where is it where is it where is it somewhere where 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 the somewhere where they say password content education does nothing and then uh-huh key content that's it that's it good to go so that's the password that this guy used called use use actually Josh Green uh blah blah one one something like that. Let me just show you another one just for study purpose if possible with you. So let me just take another one here again. There's another one here, maybe let me also use for you maybe which one, which one, which one. Let me use uh, uh my user does not work on that internet. Let me just try to copy this one. Expedia, copy that, sorry. Sorry, just copy this also. Uh, I'm going to copy that. Uh, and then I just say maybe a net show one. Show one. A show pro file, profile. Then I simply say name, open up the string like that. So there's some kind of spacing around here. So most cases this way you used to get challenges so you'll be testing up debugging most cases because there's already space there so you don't need to put that space uh, not to give a space you need to put in the bracket to avoid errors to some extent it may work for you sometimes it may not work because uh, of those kind of stuff but otherwise if you're successful when you hit enter <coughs> you should be in a position to access all what's needed so you guys if you just going to cross check down here you should have something called maybe the password of that given user my friends i wish this video is going to help you for the complete beginners let me just check you back to let you know what you did the first thing i did was to say show net show where i said one show uh show when you just say one show it's going to just display for you all what the commands what commands will be used and then on the other way around also show profiles so show profile when you just say show profile will ask you for the possible ways which profile do you want to tell me to show then in the other way around when i say show profiles this will not be displaying for me the title coin the profile i have then on the other way around if i totally want the thing to work out for you then don't leave show profile just can't specify if i give assumption i say osp profile osp it's going to tell me yes 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 the profile is there and the password is there and this time around i did say osp and then i say clear password so that's why you see in the simple term didn't give me the password this time otherwise if i happen just come back here let me change my password very fast Oop. i think i'm done with the changing the password so in this time around if i just go on and i say clear equals to clear password equals to clear should display for me the password of that given user so my password for this case around or this time around i just changed and that's the password which i've just happened to give in my pc so my friends i wish this guys this video is going to be helping you if at all happen to help you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if also if there's a way how you want, would like to support osp i think this is a good chance to you to know to give in a uh hand -huh. so guys i wish you a nice time may god bless you love you all take care please don't drink while driving stay safe and may blessed. god bless you thank you